Hey guys, check this out. My Gecko Gear, which has sent me a dash cam, and they also sent me that claw that I use for my motor keep on my motorcycle to clamp the phone to whatever. Uh, now they have sent me a body cam. I guess you call it Aegis 100 body cam. Uh, I'm not a cop or anything like that, would you need a body cam for that way, but I did think that one of these could come in handy in a lot of things, especially depending on the quality of the video, which I still have to try out. So this thing is 1296P Super HD, 9 hour battery life, which that's pretty cool. Uh, infrared night vision, password protected system. And I guess you can only remove the videos off of this thing um, on a computer. That way, I guess, so the police officer can't just, when he's recording, he can't edit the videos and take them off. has to take them back to the station, and they can take the videos off. Uh, durability with IAP65 waterproof. That's some more specs here on the back. Same thing we just went through. 140 degree wide angle in, so that is nice and wide angle. Uh, two inch LCD. Built in microphone, of course. Uh, drop protection, so it should be tough. 32 gigabyte internal storage, uh, infrared and night vision, which I mentioned that, password protected system, 9 hour battery life, loop recording, so once it gets full, it's going to start recording over instead of stopping and you miss something real important, it's going to start deleting your old files first and recording over those. So let's uh, open this thing up, see what's in the box. It's actually a really good quality box as long as you can figure out how to open it right here this way okay we got a book and a card and look at this thing it, that is incredible how tiny that thing is I mean that is tiny there's my hand right there look how small that thing is you can see the LEDs the infrared LEDs a big nice camera lens and then we have a record button right here USB right here, I'd say to charge it and to download the videos off of it. In the back we have menu buttons and this the display screen here, which we'll need to peel that off. So nice clear display. This is a place where you put your mount. So it's going to have a, a mount that you can clip onto your shirt. Uh, looks like we have a play and a pause button, a memory button or mode button. There's an OK button there. And very nice. You can feel that it's kind of ruggedized. It's uh, it feels nice and weighted. It don't feel cheap at all. Function button and a power button right here. So we don't have to worry about putting an SD card in it because it comes with 32 gig gigabyte already installed. Let's look in here. So in here we have this is going to be the mount. What I was thinking, it would be a shirt mount of some kind, and this is well, that's a strong mount too. And it's made to where this mount actually hooks over, so it will not come off. And it's got some teeth like alligator teeth here to bite in, so it's going to bite in nice and strong and not be coming off on you. So, I would say this thing goes. Like so, like this. Okay, so you clip it to the side, and that's how it works. And it also will pivot out, straight out, turn it a different direction if you wanted to. But you clip it to the side like that in your shirt. So, right in the slit in your shirt between buttons, just like that, or wherever you would want to put it. I'm not a cop, so I've actually never wore one of these, so. I really don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to find out. A nice USB charger for 110. It's actually a 2 amp charger, so that's a good one. And then we have a USB cable. And it looks like we also have another clip. So that's cool. It's actually a smaller clip. You don't want this big old behemoth. And you don't need one to pivot out. So the one I'll probably use will probably be this one. I think it's going to be better for what I need is a smaller one. So let's pull this one off and put this smaller one on. Basically does the same thing. Clips on and a nice, well that's a strong spring on that one. This one actually has metal teeth here. 
plastic teeth on the clip part here, metal teeth on the base. So it's going to be very strong. Very strong. I like that. Oh, it does pivot. Sorry. I didn't realize that it pivots, so it does. That's cool. You can pivot at whatever angle you want then. Up, down, all around. Let's turn this power button here. Oh, there's a microphone button. Let's just hold the power button down and see if it comes on. Wow. Even plays a tune. Holy cow. That video looks extremely clear. I mean, that's just right down here. But the video, hopefully you can see this. Or I can get the recordings off to show you. Uh, so we have 28.8 gigabyte free. It's full. I mean, it's empty, sorry. Uh, we also have the date and time. Everything on here. Put this button. Uh, enter a password. So it obviously is password protected to change it. I'll have to look up and see what that is. Okay, so it has a light on here. It tells you that when it's flat green, when it's idling, when it's red flashing, it is recording. Uh, temporary flat red when picture is taking in idle mode. Flashing amber light when recording audio and audio recording only, I guess. And then... Uh, flat green when USB lead is connected to the computer. Okay. Okay, turn it back on. Now, a default password is all zeros. As I push the button, it's changing to something different. There's W, B, U, T. Okay, we're going through the alphabet here. Hopefully you can see this screen. But as I do this, I'm changing through zero. Okay, go to the next one. Go like that, goes right through it. One step back is zero. Now in here it looks like we can change our settings. So we can go to 1280 by 720, 30 frames per second. We can go to uh, 5 megapixels says uh, 3008 by 1688. Burst off. All kinds of different settings in here for sure. Let's just take this thing and record in 1080p, which is a good, pretty good standard. So it's 1920 by 1080p, 16 by 9. We're going to record in that and see what it looks like. And let's take this thing outside and record, hopefully. But it is extremely windy out today, so I think that's going to affect it a lot. But we need to know. As we go down through here, we can go to uh, continuous shooting off. Uh, quality, super fine, I guess, because it's S fine. There's all kinds of settings in this thing. Car DV mode, loop record off. Right now it's off, so we can click this. Should be able to go here, loop recording on now. Uh, split time, 15 minutes. So that's where it's going to, 15 minute video segments, I guess. White LED on, infrared manual. So you turn infrared on manually or at night, it automatically come on. Let's put this on auto. Infrared auto. Okay, and then motion detect off. So we can set this up thing, record motion detection. That is so cool. Record warning on. Language English. Screen saver, one minute. So it goes on. LCD brightness is on high. Auto power off. LED light on. Okay, with key tone, volume. We can change everything in here. Okay, let's try this thing out. Okay, one of the first things we do, we back out of there. We want to make sure we're 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second. And if we push this record button. Recording started. It says recording started. Now I see our green light right here is going to turn to red flashing. So we are recording video now. Turn that off. It does a little vibrating whenever... You turn it off to let you know it did go off. Right here, pushing the camera button. We should be able to take a picture, a snapshot. Like that, yes, that works. And here is audio. So this is just recording audio. It's not going to be recording video. If we just want to hear, uh, record the audio, we can do that. Push stop, turns the audio back off. If we push video, we'll be automatically should be recording audio and video. Okay, that's it. Let's try this thing out now. 
for now. Let's hold this power button down, see if it turns it off. Just like that. How cool is that little thing? Okay, so let's take this little bugger and put it on here. I think that um, the best way to clip this is going to be if we can turn it to the side. I can put it on my jacket like this. Uh, you want to mount it where it's not going to be too uh, shaken around when you move. This way it kind of shakes a little bit, so I'm not sure if that's the best location. Uh, it depends on what you wear too. If you wear something tight or have a strap that you can put it on, it's going to be a lot more solid. But I think we'll take it like this, put it like that. It's dead center now. Uh, it's on my zipper right there, so it's actually pretty solid. And we'll see what the video looks like with it mounted right there. Okay, so here we are outside the house, and we'll see how good the video is now. I don't think that this has any image stabilization. I didn't see anything about it, so that would make a big difference. Or if you do mount it, uh, mount it on your shirt or whatever jacket that where it's secure and not shaking around. I tried to mount it the best I could to see how it works. It's kind of shaded over here on this side, but it's full sun out there. So we can see how the video looks. And then of course if we go inside, yeah because it's dark in here. So now I'm sure the infrared right there, the infrared come on. And we can see the back of the beast, the gladiator. And we can see the CRF 250L right there. So actually I think that's going to work out pretty good as far as night time also for rocking around you can see all my lumber down here but not too bad so I'll, I'll take this video off see what it looks like and post it on here okay let's plug this into the MacBook and see if we can get the files off of it now so we need to plug into the it is a mini USB plug in right here Got my adapter, automatically powers it up, that's cool. Now we're going to come up with a password before you can actually transfer the files off of it. So we need to go zero, all zeros again. Now that come on, it should pop, there we go, no name. Okay, so our files should be in here where our videos is going to be. And there they are, right there. So we want to back this up and we can just drag and save these off. Now, you have to empty them out of your recycle bin to actually delete them off of this. Otherwise, this thing could fill up. If you're on loop recording, it shouldn't matter. But if you're not, it would fill up. So you want to empty them out of your recycle bin on a Mac to take it off there. Otherwise, you could probably delete them on Windows. So it's not taking too long to download them because it's 1080p. Now we'll edit the video. Alright guys, that's it for the Mike Gecko Gear Ages 100 body cam. Very cool, very small. Uh, the video is a little shaky, but you know, without uh, image stabilization, that's why I was saying I didn't have it mounted in a good spot. You have this thing mounted on something solid that's strapped to you good, it's going to be real solid and a lot more, a lot better video than what I did right there. So that's one thing to look at. Uh, otherwise, I believe this is the picture quality looked pretty darn good to me. And for 32 gigabyte, this is going to be a good little body cam. I'm going to use this for other things. I think you could use this for hunting and a lot of other purposes besides just a police officer. So I think it's going to come in pretty handy. You can also set it up and use it for motion detection recording or recording audio. So thank you all for watching. I'll put a link to this below. Click the thumbs up. Catch you on the next one. Right on.